Activity in this kind of oppressive heat, as we've talked about, can be potentially dangerous. Yeah, but it's the time of year when teams start to gear up for football season. News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove joins us with a live look from Milton at how coaches and trainers are mm -hmm. taking measures to keep student athletes safe while conditioning in these elements, Andrew. Hey, Sarah, yeah, the Milton Middle School football team is holding outdoor conditioning drills this week. They are just getting started behind me here at the old high school. Other places like Chesapeake are holding their practices in the morning to try to avoid the worst of this heat. Forget the comfort of air conditioning. The heat's been, uh, it's been hot out. Mid-July, we're still hearing complaints about people setting off leftover fireworks. But as far as these student athletes are concerned, it's already football season. I just can't wait for it. High school camps are underway. Players in Chesapeake are on Phil Davis Field from 8 to 11 in the morning to dodge the worst of the heat. It gets much hotter later on in the day, but it's been uh, great being able to just wake up bright and early with these guys. Seems like every year we hear about players somewhere around the country suffering heat stroke. It's always in the back of your mind. Chesapeake head coach Todd Nip says safety is their top priority. We try to take every precaution possible to make sure these guys are healthy, rest, and ready to go the next day. And, you know, their overall safety is taken care of. Our coaches and our trainers, they take plenty of precautions, constantly giving us water breaks even carrying water bottles around to make sure we're hydrated. Even the trainer's arm may be sore later, staying busy, helping keep the kids hydrated. We're always talking about hydration, making sure everybody's drinking water, because the last thing we need is somebody out here getting dehydrated and uh, having a bad health situation. Now here in Milton, the coach says that they were considering moving this practice inside to the gym here at the old high school because it was so hot, but they have decided it has cooled down a little bit this evening, so they are moving forward with this drill outside. Tim and Sarah. All right. Thank you so much, Andrew. Now week one for Ohio and Kentucky high school football is set for August 23rd.